Welcome to Trend Micro Email Security Fundamentals Training. In this video series, we will demonstrate how to get started with using Trend Micro Email Security to protect your email traffic from all sorts of threats and how to configure the most common and basic settings to cater to your specific security requirements. This video will show how to provision your Trend Micro email security account and in the process, register your first domain in the Trend Micro email security. As a requirement, you need to have either an activation code or a registration key for Trend Micro email security. You can get one by either signing up for a 30-day trial period from the Trend Micro website or purchasing a full license from one of Trend Micro resellers or business partners. Once you have your activation code or registration key, you can proceed to the customer licensing portal at clp.trendmicro.com. If you don't have a CLP account yet, you can click on the Sign Up Now button and select the option for first-time users. Here you can input your registration key or activation code, then click on Continue to create your username and password combination. However, if you already have your CLP account, then you can simply proceed and sign in by providing your username and password combination. Once signed in, you can input your newly acquired activation code or registration key for the Trend Micro email security. As you can see here, my Trend Micro email security license is already activated. And I have a hyperlink to open the management console of Trend Micro email security. This will log me in directly to the Trend Micro Email Security Management Console. Since this is the first time that I log in using my account to the Trend Micro Email Security Management Console, I will be directed to the provisioning wizard. As a first step, I need to provide first name, last name, and email address. A mobile number is also optional where a verification code will be sent to activate your account. Once you have provided all the information, click on next. Second step is to provide a company identifier. Trend Micro will generate a custom subdomain for your company based on the company identifier that you set. For example, if your company identifier is example, your MX record for incoming email messages will be example.in.tmes.trendmicro.com. After typing your selected company identifier, click on Verify to ensure that the identifier is still available and not used by any other Trend Micro customer. Then click Next. Third step 
is to identify your email domain name. This domain will be registered to the Trend Micro Email Security for protection. You also need to provide the incoming mail server's IP address or FEDN. This is the address where Trend Micro Email Security will forward all incoming emails to your domain after being scanned. Also need to provide the SMTP port number being used by your mail server and the preference number which will indicate the priority of this mail server if you have multiple inbound servers set. Optionally, you can add an email address where a test message will be sent to verify that Trend Micro email security can connect to your mail server. Another optional setting is to enable outbound protection. If you wish to forward your outbound emails to Trend Micro email security, for malware scanning, outbound spam detection, and data loss prevention, then select this option. Afterwards, identify the source of your outbound emails. It could be an Office 365, Google G Suite, or a user-defined mail server where you can type in the IP addresses of your outbound mail servers. Once completed, click on next. Then you'll see a pop-up message telling you to click OK to add this managed domain and receive a confirmation email at your identified email address. And the provisioning wizard is complete. On this last window, it tells you the next steps to activate your registered domain. We'll talk about this in a separate video.